and that's trusting the source of the information and trusting the information itself. And um, when it comes to trusting the source of the information, I'm not really telling you anything new here, um, but I am maybe putting some, uh, putting some context around it and giving you some words to describe it. First of all, why would you trust a person? Well, you might trust them because you have personal experience with them. You grew up with them. You know them very well. You know what they know and what they don't know. You know where their boundaries are. You know when they're lying and when they're telling the truth. You have personal experience. And that's really, in the end, that's the, that's the most basic form of trust. I know this person very well. I can trust them. And you can see that even with people that you know very well, sometimes you don't know when you can trust them. Even with people that you've grown up with, with people that you've known your entire life, it's not always entirely... Oh, that horn there, that's a, that's a boat telling the bridge to go up. So uh, I'm right near the Fremont Bridge, it's going to go up. By the way, the Fremont Bridge, which is only about 100 meters from me right now, is the bridge in the world that goes, it's the, it's the bridge in the entire world, the drawbridge in the entire world that goes up the most times per day. Just a fun fact to know and tell. All right, so trusting the source. Personal experience is the first major, major idea in trusting the source. If you have personal experience with them, then you're going to be, you're going to trust them. Now, of course, you have less and less personal experience with the people that you're called upon to trust because your world, your social network, your, your world of relationships in the world is getting larger and larger and is often containing people that you've never met, people that you don't have much experience with. Okay, so trust, uh, personal experience and then the credentials, of the, um, the credentials of the speaker, the credentials of the source of the information, either official, cre cre uh, either official credentials that come from some institution that you trust a government or a, a educational institution or a large corporation or something like that. For example, Google. Do I trust because it comes from Google? They're a very large organization. If I trust Google, somebody from Google is trustworthy. In fact, I do that all the time in the videos that you see. I call upon people who are representatives of large organizations to speak authoritatively, to speak, um, to speak definitively about the subjects that we cover because I assume that because they're affiliated with a large organization that I know and to some extent trust, that we can trust what they're saying as really representing what's going on for that organization or what's going on in general. So institutions give a lot of credentials or credibility to the source. Um, your social network in today also gives credentials to the source. If I ask for a recommendation for who should I talk to about XYZ, travel arrangements or something like that, and my social network comes back and tells me, oh, you should talk to these guys, I'm going to trust that because I have a recommendation from a trusted, from a, uh, from a trusted, well, from someone who can vouch for that, uh, that, that speaker or that source of information. Okay, now another one which, you know, you may say, well, why is this a criteria for trusting the source? But it is, and it absolutely is, the popularity of the source. If it's very, very popular, then I'm going to trust it. And this explains why movie stars, for example, when they come out and they support some kind of cause, that cause it becomes all of a sudden very credible. Before it wasn't very credible, nobody knew about it. Um, a movie star who's very popular, but popular for what? Popular for acting a talent or you know, looks or something like that, speaks out about a certain issue and then all of a sudden everyone's trusting what they say, everyone's, um, uh, everyone's going with that. So the credibility of, or excuse me, the trust in the source of information comes from these three major, these three major elements. Your personal experience with the source, which you may or may not have, the credentials of the source, so who's vouched for them, either institutions or other people that you know, and sadly but true, the popularity of the source. The more popular that source is, the more you're likely to trust it. Okay, so we're outlining the idea of authority. What counts as authority? If I trust the source, it's authoritative, it's definitive.